Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to Social Goat Media. I haven't done a video in a while. I've been enjoying the summer. It's been kind of difficult to enjoy it when in July everything kind of fell down. My portfolio shrank halfway. But luckily I'm not leverage trading currently. I'm just holding and buying in at the right time with the right dips in my opinion. And because I'm holding, I'm not worried about what's happening in the market. And it's now September the 3rd and officially we're back. We're back, Bitcoin's back, Ethereum's back. Um, while it's feeling fine, everything's good. But today I wanted to come back to the channel and read an article from a source which I find to be reputable, which everyone should find to be reputable. It's not gonna be some crypto channel telling you that Bitcoin's gonna be $1 million tomorrow. So I want you to read this article yourself. There's too many big words in there, so I'm going to do my best uh, to show it to you and go over it. But uh, you need to kind of look at it as uh, something that's telling you what the future is going to be of this currency. So without any further adieus, let's get right into it. And if you find any of this info useful, please hit that like and share subscribe button because it helps my channel out. And let's get right into it. So here we are on socialgoatmedia.com where an article came out today by Bloomberg, which is a fairly well-known media source. And I wanted to go over it with you because Bloomberg report 100,000 Bitcoin price, which they're saying that Bitcoin is going to look towards its $100,000 mark, which a lot of people have been predicting. So this could be really interesting. This could be the start of a bull run. News like this from Bloomberg and mainstream media you know, not a YouTube gurus, you know, guys who are doing analytics and checking the charts, uh, you know, um, not to say that they're not capable of understanding this. A lot of them are, you know, and that's where I get a lot of my source, but this is more mainstream. So a lot more people are going to see this and, you know, they're going to want to adapt to, to the technology sooner. So let's start the article. Bloomberg has published its September edition of its Crypto Outlook report, sharing how the company's analysis are navigating the market and measuring adoption rates as well as demand supply dynamics. According to the report, Bitcoin is set to reach the 100,000 mark soon, a path of least resistance, as well as establish itself as a global reserve asset. Making a parallel to the dollar status of the global reserve currency, Bloomberg has asserted how Bitcoin can reap the benefits and ever more digital society, one hungry for a liquid, always available asset suitable to become the world's reserve currency. The dollar more than 300% advanced versus peer since the president Richard Nixon ended the gold page in 1971, which is the gold standard that we used to be on, is evidence that the greenback is the least worst currency, but we believe Bitcoin represents a digital future, the reports said. So instead of saying that the dollar has uh, gone through inflation of any sort, what they have done is they have said that the dollar is 300% more advanced than its peers than, than any other paper currency, fiat currency, which is uh, a nice way of putting things, you know, instead of putting the fact that the dollar is worth less and less every day after, you know, close to 25% of its total supply was just printed during COVID. Bitcoin has intricate advantages over the dollar, which are long known to Bitcoiners, including that it's government agnostic, has a predictable monetary policy and fixed supply, much better sellability across the scale, space, time, and as well as verifiable transaction finality. But such advantages have now apparently become evident to Bloomberg as well. So Bitcoin may have solved the age old problem of global reserve assets that easily transportable for trans uh, or transactionable has 24 seven price discoverability is relatively scarce and is notably li liability or a project that reports it. As central banks worldwide choose not to seize quantitative easing and not shrink their balance sheets or decrease liquidity in the economy, scarce assets and stocks tend to outperform 
as the risk of monetary or non-nourished by the macroeconomics landscape of the negative or near zero real interest rates worldwide. Liquidity usually floods into the S&P 500 and other riskier trades coming from conservative investment vehicles that used the provide the considerable returns but now see zero gains. But Bloomberg elicits that Bitcoin has not only outperformed but its unique uses case could set it apart from other assets and sustain its rally of increased gains purchasing power going forward. The equity market basically been tracking the generative easing of measured by the upward trajectory of the G4 central bank balance sheets, the report said. Both indexes represent risk exposure, but unlike the S&P 500, the Bloomberg Galaxy Crypto Index includes Bitcoin, which is well on its way to becoming the digital reserve asset in a world going that way. As more investors worldwide begin realizing how the current macroeconomic scenario aligns perfectly with Bitcoin's value, proportions like never before, the more obvious it is use case becomes, its use case becomes, and more money is set to flow into the world's best money. Moreover, in a world rapidly shifting into a more digitized economy, Bitcoin can provide global monetary certainty and anti-fragility in the form of unstoppable open source code, predictable policies, and distributed consciousness, brilliantly bridging the physical and digital worlds with proof of work, high stake, and well incentivized mining process. So there you go. There you have it. So that's from Bloomberg. I already have people saying that it's going to be at 1 million. There's oh. YouTubers. Uh, they're saying it's going to be at 1 billion. Basically, there's only going to be 21 million Bitcoin ever to be mined. We already mined 20 million. So the last million is going to be mined over the next 150 years. And, you know, if it is accept it as a, a you know world reserve asset like gold it's one of the easiest to transport uh, you know high volume like we're not talking about you know 20 bucks 30 bucks we're talking about millions and millions of dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars you could be purchasing a house with this in the future and then maybe five to ten years from now when it becomes even more valuable i don't think purchasing a house with bitcoin is going to make sense but people may be transferring hundreds of millions of dollars between countries so you know this article should wake people up get you guys jumping on board to crypto and get you more interested in you know investing into the right projects whether it could be altcoins or bitcoin you're not too late your money will double or you know this is not financial advice all of this could just literally fall tomorrow but if you're looking at you know all the information that's out there you're going to see a pattern of this thing sticking around and uh, it being something really relevant in the future. So if you find any of this useful, please hit that like, share, subscribe button as it helps my channel out. Hope you enjoyed this information. Check out my .com where there's new articles coming out every day regarding crypto and uh, my Instagram and YouTube are on there. You get some funny memes going about crypto and just life. And we'll see you for the next one. Have a great day, guys. Take care.